Russians use poisonous tactics on the front. Drones make it possible. In the Tavria direction, Russian occupiers have begun to more actively use the tactic of mass dropping of ammunition from UAVs, a large number of which contain toxic substances. This was reported by the spokesman of the Operational Group of Forces Tavria of Ukraine, Dmitry Likovoy. In addition to the fact that the enemy is actively using aviation and artillery, there are also drops from UAVs. In one day in our operational zone, the enemy used 180 drops using 266 munitions, 16 of which were with a toxic substance. This is a large number for one day, he emphasized. He noted that there are currently two areas in the Tavria direction where the Russians are actively storming. One is the Orekovskoy direction, the area of the Robotinsky salient. There were three combat clashes there near the settlements of Robotino and Novodanilovka. Six enemy servicemen who participated in these attacks were destroyed, Likovoy said. The Russians are increasing their efforts in the Kramatorsk direction, attacking in Kharkiv and trying to break through the defense in Orekovsky. In addition, Russian troops have twice attacked the defensive lines of the defense forces on the left bank of the Dnieper. The defense forces of the south recently officially confirmed that they had abandoned their positions in the area of the village of Krinki. It was noted that most of the main positions of our forces in this settlement were destroyed by Russian shelling. The mass use of drones in hostilities between Ukrainian and Russian forces has radically changed the pattern of modern war. Successful use of one or more cheap drones makes it possible to destroy equipment worth millions of dollars. Drones show exceptional maneuverability and are able to quickly change direction. This requires the operator to have strong skills and training levels because he has to manually control all flight processes. Drones' characteristics depend on the specific model. Such drones are capable of reaching speeds of more than 100 km per hour or even more. Drones can carry ammunition of different types and varied weights, fly into trenches and windows of buildings, and in addition they are capable of falling into hatches and doors of enemy equipment. Such drones make it possible to strike enemy targets at distances of up to 10 and possibly more kilometers. Fire has broken out in two factories producing paper and fiber in Turkey's Bursa city, local media reported on Tuesday. Large number of fire brigades have been dispatched to the area. Mayor of Yildirim municipality, Oktay Yilmaz, said in a statement that the fire that started in the factory, spread to a warehouse where fiber and sponges were stored. Explaining that the fire was partially under control, Yilmaz stated that there was no loss of life during the incident. Flames have been stopped from further spreading.